All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week, we're making a wonderful slow-roasted pork butt or pork shoulder. And we're gonna serve that with an incredible gravy infused with chili, garlic, rosemary, and fennel seeds. So all the wonderful flavors that you'd find in a spicy Italian sausage, but served as a big Sunday roast joint. So guys, this is so easy to do. Come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's grab our pork butt. And guys, if you're thinking pork butt, no, 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 shoulder. That's what you got. So sometimes the, uh, you know, the shoulder is called the butt. Um, so we've got a shoulder of pork here. It's probably about half actually. So that's about four and a half kilos, four and a half pounds. So about two kilos of pork butt. And it's a great cheap cut. You can barbecue it, so smoke it. Um, slow cook it and that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to do a mixture of roasting with a little bit of water in there uh, in the bottom of the tray. So we also get some steam so we get a beautiful juicy tender pork butt that's just going to fall apart. So anyway, before we do anything, let's get a pan on a nice medium high heat. We're going to add a good splash of oil. Now let's get the pork butt in there. We want to add a good pinch of salt, and we're going to take about five, probably actually probably about ten minutes here, guys, and we're going to brown this all over, okay? Now to help that along, let's just add in a knob of butter as well. So just like cooking a steak, let's grab a spoon, and we want to baste that all over. And then, guys, what we're looking to do is just render out some of that fat on the top of it. Um, and we just want to get a lovely, good brown colour all over this pork butt. Okay, that's looking really good. I've got our roasting tray over here, and I've just chopped up some root vegetables. So we've got some celery, carrot, onions. Um, I think we've got some sweet potato there as well. We want to lay them completely flat, and this is going to be a trivet for the pork butt to sit upon. So let's add in some rosemary. A good pinch of fennel seeds. And guys, pork and fennel seeds, absolutely classic combination. So definitely add these in. We want a good pinch of chili flakes as well. And a few cloves of garlic, which we've just you know, loosely crushed and I've still got the skin on. You don't actually have to add these in if you don't want to. If you, don't, if you just want to keep it plain, salt and pepper, bump, get them in. But if you do want to add a few more aromatics to here, those are going to be fantastic. Okay, let's get the pork butt on top of the vegetables. Now I've got a pint of water as well. Let's pour that in. And then all we need to do is just grab ourselves some foil. Let's wrap that over it. Now let's get that in the oven. 250 degrees Fahrenheit, 125 degrees Celsius. We're gonna cook that nice and slow for about four and a half to five hours. Right, here we go guys, and trust me, this smells absolutely incredible. Oh, beautiful. Here's what we're gonna do. I've got a frying pan on here. Let's get the pork butts in there, and then we've got all of this lovely liquid, which is just packed full of flavor. So let's pour that into the frying pan as well. And then let's just start bringing that up to the boil. And you guys, you've seen this so many times before on Kitchen Daddy. Works every time. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start basting the meat with all of that liquid. And as that reduces down, it's gonna start building up this wonderful sticky glaze on the meat. And then that sauce is gonna really intensify with flavor and it's just gonna be stunning. But you know what? There's actually probably a little bit too much liquid in here. So I'm just gonna get the pork butt out we're just going to let that probably reduce down by about half uh, now, and then we'll get the pork, back, pork butt back in there, and then we'll start basting it. Okay, that looks great. So let's get the pork butt back in there. 
Now using a big spoon, let's start basting all the way over that. And we're just gonna do that, you know, kind of like every three or four minutes or so. Just keep on basting that over. And all of that lovely kind of fat in there and all the lovely flavors is just gonna start clinging to the meat. So this will probably take about 10, maybe 15 minutes, but trust me guys, that is so worth your while doing that little technique. Right guys, look at this and I can tell you now, this is spectacular, it really is. The meat is just perfectly, perfectly cooked and then, oh man. I've got to be really careful. I've got an umbrella over there precuriously balanced. Oh, whoa, hang on one second guys, it's gonna fall out. Okay, we're back. And we're gonna do this really, really quick so uh, the wind doesn't take the umbrella and fall on the camera over there. So long and short of this guys, that tastes absolutely amazing. And that gravy is sensational. Honestly, sensational. It's almost, uh, it's really hard to describe because you've got that lovely kind of like fennel flavor, but so you've got the aniseed coming through and then you've just got this lovely bit of chili as well. Absolutely knockout. And where it's kind of like caramelized, and uh, not caramelized, but where it's thickened up. Oh my God. It's like boom, smacks in the chops. So good. Right. Before that goes, thumbs up, get in the comments, check out the new website. And, um, oh no, hold off, I'm updating the website. Don't check out the website just yet. Get in the comments, give us a thumbs up. Good to be back outside doing some proper cooking. See you next week, guys. Bye.